today we're mobilizing uh, to showcase our um, rage uh, to the city of Montreal, who is currently in the process of adopting their 2021 budget, which calls for the increase in SPVM funding. So it's calling for a 14.6 million increase in operating costs, and then I believe a 6 million increase for infrastructure. So as part of the coalition, our demands are clear. Uh, our priorities have been clear for the get-go. We've always demanded that the city of Montreal defund the SPVM uh, by a 50% uh, decrease. It's not normal that we live in a society where every single department funded by government gets cut uh, year after year. Everyone is asked to make sacrifices. We're asking teachers to make sacrifices. We're asking the arts to not be funded. We're asking everyone, especially right now during this pandemic, to, to do their part to reduce reduce government spending, uh, and as people are getting poorer, the city is choosing to give even more money to police. I'm live in downtown Montreal, just outside of the SPVM headquarters. Now, those voices you heard off the top are the voices of protesters demanding defunding of the police. Now, just hours ago, protesters gathered here demanding defunding and expressing their frustration at how the city of Montreal intends to actually increase the SPVM's budget. Right now, they're slated to increase that budget by $14.6 million in operations and an additional six in infrastructure for the SPVM if the city moves forward with it. What I'm asking for is that there's a lot of really smart individuals with a lot of great ideas who would like to be at the table to discuss the, the future of our city and what defunding or reinvestment in our community actually means. You know what I mean? And that's what I think. I think the youth are really involved and I think that they should actively find ways to, to, to put those oppressed youth at the table. We'd like to see um, not just little incremental change, but um, large-scale defunding, large-scale investment into communities, uh, into uh, alternate, alternative solutions that don't involve violence, uh, that involve uh, helping people, real, real sorts of solutions. Now, Mayor Valérie Plante has said she believes it would be irresponsible to slash the police budget without actually looking to where that money would be reallocated. But during the summer, she did say that she would specifically look into reallocating some of that money away from the police budget that was anticipated. Um, many that gathered here today said that they consider that a broken promise. Live in Montreal, Sharon Yonin-Reynolds, City News.